So you're in web design, and this is the intro to HTML. Sounds kind of boring, I know. It's not. Uh, but it is a little bit difficult. Stay with me, and you'll be just fine. It may take a little while for it to click, but eventually it'll come. Typically, at some point during the year, kids are like, Oh! I get it! And then, it's not too bad after that. Might take you longer, might take you not very long. Wherever you are, don't worry, you'll get it. And uh, you'll be making some great stuff. Now, if you just kind of lazily sit back like... You're never gonna get it. So, focus. Let's get started. HTML is a language, like any language, Chinese or Korean. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. At this point, you should have already created a web design folder on your M drive, and we're gonna save everything to that folder. So, just to make it easy, I have my web design right here on the desktop. Make sure yours is not on the desktop. You want yours on your M drive. I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to find Notepad++. Now if yours is not in here, you may have to type in N-O-T. Uh, see everything with N-O-T starts here. Now there is Notepad. Do not use Notepad. Do not use Notepad. Use Notepad++. It's much better. You'll like it much more. Notepad++. And it makes it easier. We're going to type in the basic code. HTML, head, title, end title. And head, body, and body, and HTML. Now the next thing we're gonna do is super important, so don't forget to do it! Oh, so many people forget this! Don't forget this! Please don't forget this. Right here, watch, watch, this. This is important, don't, don't forget this. You're, once you have this basic code in, you're gonna go to language, and you're gonna choose H, and then HTML. That's your language. That is why you have to remember HTML, because you have to choose your language. Notice how it changes the color of everything. Now, at this point, when you have just that basic code in there, it should change it to the color blue. You'll find that there are some other colors later on. But right now, we just have basic tags. Tag. What is a tag? A tag is uh, a word or symbols surrounded by angle brackets that basically tell the computer what to do. This is the HTML tag. You'll notice that when I click on it, it actually also highlights the end HTML tag. Wait, end? I don't, I don't, I don't see the word end in there. What are you talking about? The end HTML tag tells the computer to stop doing whatever you told it to do earlier. We tell the computer that end thing by putting a forward slash in. So you'll see right here, there's a forward slash HTML. That's the end HTML tag. So there's a lot of starting and ending tags in HTML. We have the head tag, as you can see here. It has an ending tag as well. A title, this is the start of the title, the end of the title. Now here's a weird question. The title tag is inside of which tag? Like. Yes, the title tag is actually inside the head tag, as you can see here. The head tag is inside the HTML tag. So everything that goes between the start and the end tag, the one with the slash, everything that goes between those uh, is inside of that tag and will be affected by that tag. So let's make a really simple web page. Now, we've set up the basic code. This is going to be in every single website. In fact, uh, all the websites you already know of already have this, like, like YouTube. If I go to YouTube and right click and go to View Page Source, I can see the code for YouTube. As you can see, it has an HTML tag and it has a head tag. It has a title tag and an end title tag. Oh, and an end head tag and a body tag, and way down here. All right, uh, don't worry. We will not be writing any code that is as long as YouTube. You'll write some long stuff, but nothing nearly this long. Okay, and now we have end body and end HTML. See, just like yours. It's just, it's just like the basic, 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 basic code. 
I'm gonna save it, save as, or if you'd like, you can also just click this little cool save button. And I'm gonna call it one. Now, notice down here it says .html. That is extremely important, but don't worry, it should say it as long as you chose your language. Remember how we went to language and then H and HTML? I said that was really important. It was. If you did not choose your language, you'll have to go through and find it from this big giant list and that's kind of a pain. Uh, if you don't choose it from that list and you didn't choose your language, then well, it's, it's not gonna work, so don't do that. So I'm just gonna call it one. I chose my language so I don't have to do anything else. Put it on your in your web design folder, okay? And, and click save. Now here's where things get a little bit more hairy. When you have a file, let's say it's called Mario Game. What you typically do is you double click on it. Your little cursor, you move over to the top of it, and you double click it. Then it opens up into a game. Play your game, everything works just fine. And that's just what you do. But there is actually a totally different way to open a file. And usually there's more than one way to open a file. You're like, what? Yeah, so those days of just double clicking in a, a file and opening it, gone, okay? You can actually open a file a lot of different ways. Let's say, for example, I have a picture of Mario right here. Now, of course, I could double click it and it would just open up in whatever program I set to be the one that opens it up. But you can right click on the file and open it, which will open it in whatever. That's like double clicking on it. It just opens in whatever you told it originally to open it. Or you can open with a lot of other programs, right? I want to open it in this program, for example. Let's say I want to open this with Firefox. If I open it with Firefox, it's gonna show up in Firefox. That's just a regular browser. Now I could right click and I could open it with, let's open it with Paint. Now it's gonna open in Paint. See, there it is, I could mess with it in Paint. Or I could right click and open with Photoshop. But here it is on Photoshop. Maybe I wanna make some changes to it, like, I want to make Mario orange. I don't know, just one more. forget about this. Okay, you can open a file in more than one way and that's important to understand because in web design, when creating a website, you will have to open your file, that HTML file, with two different programs. It's one file. It's not two files, it's one file with two programs opened in two different ways. Let me show you. So in my web design folder, I have one. That's the basic code I created earlier. And if I double click on it, as you can see, it's gonna open up in Firefox. So I double click on it and it opens in Firefox, which is just fine. Except that I see my web page, what it's gonna look like, and I don't see my code. As I had earlier, my code was in Notepad++, so here it is, but what if I come in and it's closed and I don't see the code? And I go and I'm like, hey, let's open it. How do I open it? Well, you can, of course, right click, open with, and then choose Notepad++ if you have it. If you don't, you can come down here to choose default program and set it to be Notepad++. Or here's what most kids do, and this is actually the, probably the simplest thing to do. What I do is I will just double click on it so it opens in Firefox. This will let me see my page. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over here. As you can see, it is totally blank because there's nothing in my code except for the basic code. And then I'm going to go back to here. I'm gonna type in NOT, open Notepad++, and here Notepad opens. Now, if this wasn't here, <gasps> oh no! If it's not here, I go file and open. File, open, not hard. And then I go to my web design folder. I click one and I click open. Now it's gonna open it in Notepad. So I have here Notepad++ 
and Firefox. Both of which have the exact same file open. So let me show you what I mean. If I go in between the title here and I type in, I am awesome. And I click save. It saves it to that one file. I can then come over to Firefox, which is that same file. And if I hit refresh, it reloads in the new code and boom right here, it says, I am awesome. Let's say I want to put in a picture. I go, IMG space, is there a C equals quote? And we'll talk more about this later. But uh, I then put my picture in between here. I have a picture of a bear here, it's just a bear. It looks like it's a JPG file. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in bear.jpg. I hit save and in my website, I hit refresh and there's a bear. Maybe I want to put the bear in the center. So I go center. I hit save and I hit refresh and now it's in the center. Maybe I want to put words in, like I want to say, oh, but after the centric tag. Now remember that these tags affect everything after them. So after the center tag, everything will be in the middle. But if I put something before it, it won't be. Like I can put not centered. Notice it's before the center tag. I hit save and I hit fresh. See, it's on the left. Everything always goes to the left unless you change it. So not centered. But if I take this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this, paste it after center. Notice after the center tag now, save and refresh. Now it's centered. But I need a BR tag because it's right next to this picture. I need a BR tag, save it and refresh. Now a BR tag is what's going to move things down the line. Like, let me give you an example. If I put in another BR tag, I got a bunch, oh, I capitalized. Try and leave everything lowercase, but you don't necessarily have to. Save and refresh, see, put in a bunch of spaces there, right? If I take one out, backspace, save, over here, refresh. See, it goes up a little bit. So you're gonna take all of the different tags and attributes that we'll talk about later, and you're going to use them to create websites. That's what this class is about. The other thing we'll do a little bit of is we'll do some Photoshop, like we did with Mario, except tougher. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that first assignment.